In this tutorial, we'll go ahead and go through a series of videos walking through how to take a uh, physical model that we have here, just a simple one-story structure, and importing it as an analytical model with all the correct boundary conditions, connections, and things of that nature. So, first thing to notice is that in, in a 3D model here, you're going to have a corresponding analytical model. So that analytical model is just the representation that will be sent to be analyzed. Now, each of these members has all the correct uh, modulus of elasticity, the physical properties of the material, cross sections, moment of inertia, things of that nature. Now, before we import that into robot, which will be used to analyze the model, we need to make sure that the model is completely set up correctly. So we're going to have to put in boundary conditions, check and make sure that all the connections are set correctly, uh, look at load combination or adding loads, load combinations, and then sending it over. So what we're going to do is look at the analyze tab. On that analyze tab on the middle, uh, you'll see that there are several different options that come up. Uh, to start off, we're going to basically moving left to right here, and we start with boundary conditions. You'll notice that there are three different types of boundary conditions. Uh, for example, in our case here, we're going to look at how do the footings <clears throat> interact with the surroundings. So the system that we'll be importing, uh, a boundary condition is specifically how does it interact with the surroundings. So uh, for our case with a point load, you'll notice you can put in a pin, roller, or a user to find. In our case, we'll just go ahead and start with fixed, and you can just click on the bottom of those uh, columns and it'll basically put that in there. Now you'll notice if I do change this to uh, pinned instead, phys physically you'll see a difference in there on what it actually looks like visually. And so those now are set. In this case, I will go ahead and put in uh, fixed all the way along there. Now that is the boundary condition, so that's again how it connects to the environment. I could do a line one, so if this, uh, if this was our ledger board, we could basically uh, select that as fixed to the external uh, site, and so that would be fixed to the building or whatever, whatever the surrounding is. Is there a connection to the surrounding? That's boundary conditions. Next thing we'll talk about actually is the connection specifically. So we've talked about how it connects to the environment uh, down at the footings there. But also each of these individually, if I look at an individual member, will have individual connections into that uh, junction. So that connection into the joint there, how do those look? And if we uh, basically select here and scroll down on the properties of the analytical, you'll come to releases and member forces. So under releases and member forces, you'll see that there is uh, basically a statement about if it's the start release or the end release. You'll notice that there are green and red ends to here. So the green is the start and the end is the red. Uh, these can be changed by specifying if it's if we want to have that pinned uh, or fixed for all those members. So that one now specifically is pinned. You will notice that there's no physical uh, or graphical change to the visualization of that. So it's hard to detect what that is until we actually see the deflection. But if this is not set correctly, the deflection will not come out correctly. Uh, you can also add in there, again, if I select back here, you can add, add specific aspects of force uh, moment along the aspect of that just by looking at these different components here. And you can, em by editing the member forces, so you can go in and add specific member forces that are listed here. In our case, we won't be adding any of those at this time.